All right, hey guys, Greg here, Underground Graphics. Uh, today we're gonna to show you the uh, stripe kit that we've done for the Bronco. Uh, we're excited to get this on here. Uh, we've done it actually last weekend, we did a few uh, test kits. Um, I wasn't completely satisfied with how this was gonna line up. Um, so we have got this finalized to where we prefer to put this right on top of this seam here. We've got this cut, you've got some room if you wanna move this up or down. Um, but again, we prefer it right on top of that seam. It doesn't interfere with the, the gas cap and it kind of, it all, it all works well. We'll get that uh, shown to you here shortly. Um, anyway, we have wiped this down. I want to go over real quick. Uh, we use a water alcohol mix, make sure there's nothing uh, on the paint. Um, you don't want ceramic coating on that. Uh, you can, but if you take the stripe off, you can't take the coating off with it. Um, anyway, we'll get going and we'll go into some more detail as we start. All right, thank you. The kit we're gonna install today, we're calling our first. Um, we did that because it also kind of emulates a little bit what they did on the first editions, the four hashes in the back. is kind of a signature nod to uh, Ford's kit, um, but being a little bit different. Um, we did this one in two color. I've got bronze wheels. This will probably be sold more as a single color matte black. We will offer this in satin black as well. Um, but anyway, this is going to have two back ends on it. We'll get into that in just a minute, but I want to show you how that's going to come in. This is always going to be 3M or Avery wrap film with an air mask, a uh, mask on top for easy installation. Tools you're going to need, a uh, heat gun. Uh, there's that alcohol water mix, a little bit of quick detail there on the left. Microfiber towels, clean, soft squeegee. We will provide you with the squeegee. If you're going to go right on the vinyl itself, make sure you wrap a microfiber towel around that hard edge. Uh, a knife, some scissors, and a way to measure, and definitely some masking tape. All right, let's get going. All right, I've done this kit a handful of times now. I know how this is gonna go on. I'm gonna try to walk you through the easiest way to do this. Again, we have wiped this down, but again, we wanna spray that water alcohol mix. We use a 30% alcohol, 70% water. Um, just go over that, make sure you don't have any, any dust, any dirt, any debris. Um, you also do not wanna do this outside in the sun, um, in, in heat. You don't want to do this in heat. You want this to be cool. Um, so maybe late in the evening, um, you know, obviously we are in a temperature controlled garage. Um, anyway, you're going to get those four pieces, uh, the masking tapes to hold those in place. Uh, I would suggest to go ahead and tape everything up first. That way you know where things going to be. Uh, this is going to come all in, in four pieces. That's to keep the cost down. Uh, also for alignment reasons while we make these stripes. Um, so the most important thing is to make sure this stays lined up along that, 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 that line. Um, you can kind of get to the nose of the vehicle at the back and look, look down that line of sight. You can see there if it's going to be off at all. Um, and every time I've done this, it's, it's worked out great. So again, this is a great body line to follow. I'm just going to have some extra tape here. I don't have to come back to this. And we'll show you some tricks. Here's that first piece. And again, right on this body line, give yourself a little bit on the end, on the end to tuck into that door seam. And this is where you want to follow that body line. Go ahead and do a piece of tape in the middle. Typically, if you just tape the ends, you're gonna get a little sag there in the middle. I'm gonna leave this front just loose because you may have to pull that down just a little bit to follow that line. It's gonna curve just a hair at the front of the vehicle. All right, so we're gonna get this stripe finished up on this front side. Again, wanna make sure this follows that line. We'll go ahead and tape up the rest of these as well. Just to confirm fitment, make sure you're happy with it. Again, we are following that bottom, that the, the top line of that factory crease. You've got a little bit extra on the right and on the left to wrap those edges. And just remember, if you take tape just the sides, you may get a little dip in the middle, so you do you want to check that.
to that bigger kit. That includes some cutting on that tail on that fuel door. line these up panel to panel if you give it a little bit of a tug that should straighten out that middle and again just want to confirm that you're happy where it's at that's why we're laying it all out first So with this all in place, you can kind of come down in front of the vehicle, look down that line, and make sure that's straight. And again, it looks it looks fine. You've got a little bit of room back here. If you want to push this back and forth just a little bit, you know, you've got you've got this bend here to look at. I like it right where it's at. All right, so we're gonna get ready to apply. It, you're right-handed, you can go right to left. If you're left-handed, you can go left to right. It really doesn't matter. What we do want to do is pull back that tape, tape that off. And here's the trick that we use here. I'm gonna take that squeegee. That tape is our mark. And just tear that off. Remember, this is air release vinyl wrap film. You don't have to do these wet. It's preferred that you don't. Uh, 3M does not warranty the films if you do them wet. Uh, although you can, we don't recommend it, but you can. And again, you know, get that tacked, overlapping strokes. This is really small enough. You should be able just to go solid strokes all the way across. This front piece up here, now that this is tacked, you take your tape off. This front one's the one that's going to follow that line. Gun at the end, post heat to 180 degrees. As you get to these pens here, remember I've got that door sealed there, but we can still we can go back and we can tuck those in once we open the door. work our way down. Remember, 
check that corner end first. This is where we're going to use that heat gun again, but I'm just going to check that in there for now. Have a hair dryer, that'll work, heat gun's even better. You just want to get that warm. As we get back into this last area, I wanted you to see a little closer. Again, this, these two sections we've got a little extra on because you've got that roll in here. This is completely up to you on how you want to do this. If you want to roll it all the way in and trim it, I'm actually going to trim it on the inside after the fact. Just use your thumb to roll that around the back side. Again, if you want to trim off excess, you can. You just want to have that come about an eighth of an inch around that edge. last piece is going to have the gas cap on it, which we'll have to do some trimming. That may be the hardest part of this, so just be patient. You know, we say you can do these yourself, which you absolutely can, but we always recommend a professional installation. If you're worried about how steady your hand is. Again, we make these kits as easy as we can for y'all. Feel free to call us. If you guys have any questions, call or email. It's pretty quick to get back. We're always here. We always answer the phone. So at the beginning I did I switched the back of this because I wanted to show you this this cut area after we installed this kit we're gonna install the short version of this which is just a straight stripe all the way back without the kick up here there'll be a high version and a low version again offered in color options as well as satin black matte black and gloss black get any air pockets, anything in there, again, with that vinyl being air release, it'll all work out. Don't panic, don't freak out. It is important, again, I can't stress enough to make sure that surface is clean. When you pop these doors up and make sure that that's not attached. I'm not sure if you can see that, but we're gonna do the same thing. Heat that edge, roll that in.
I'm just going to soften that up a little bit. Want to get as much coverage on that gas cap as we can before we trim. in the middle obviously depending on the blade you have you can kind of turn your knife drag on the inside and kind of and get that get that straight edge Alright, now we're going to go back and just check all of our edges, make sure everything is tacked well. I think we're about done. Alright, I'm not sure what that time was on that, but as you can see, it really wasn't too bad. All of you just want to repeat for the other side. Um, again, if you guys have any questions, give us a call, shoot us an email. We're always here.